Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Brix PLC PID Ramp Soak Profile. Now detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So up on my screen, we have our previous program that we did last time, which was our PID instruction with our, our time proportional or pulse width modulated output. So what we've done is added a new instruction, the ramp soak profile. So if I double click that, what you'll see is we have our heap instruction, uh, ramp soak underscore zero for the, the first one. And you'll see that we have our set point, which is our PID uh, uh, loop zero, our set point, and our step preset is one. So we have our init initial uh, uh, to value, which is 50 degrees Celsius. Then what we do is we do a ramp to value over constant time period, uh, which is going to be, we're going to go to 60 degrees Celsius, and we're going to do that over 10 minutes. Then we have a soak for constant time uh, period and we are doing we're going to soak for three minutes and then what we're going to do is ramp to the value of our constant time period again back to our 50 degrees celsius and we're going to do that at 15 minutes so we're going to go from 50 up to 60 then we're going to hold that 60 at, for three minutes then we're going to go back to 50 in 15 minutes so that is what our instruction is. Now, if we click any one of these, you'll see there's several different selections we can actually have. And we have right now our, like I said, we have our ramp to value over a constant time period. We have a, a variable time period milliseconds. Then we have a value to uh, a rate per, per second. We have a rate per minute and a rate per hour. We also have um, adjust by value, constant time period, uh, variable or rate per second, rate per minute, rate per hour. So there's um, a few things that we can actually do. So again, soak is when you maintain your present value and ramp is when you're either ramping up or ramping down the value. So this is our profile that we have in our, our controller. Let's hit OK from there. And what you'll see is we have C1 and C1 will actually enable or reset our ramp soak profile. We have C2, which will have a jog. And you'll notice that on C2, our jog is actually a one shot here, so we only do it once per uh, uh, cycle. And then we have C3, which is our pause, so we can pause this ramp soak feature uh, that we have. So there are our uh, different variables that we have. Um, so the next up thing we can do is we can actually throw on a status monitor. And what you'll see, as soon as we do a status, you'll see that now our ramp soak instruction is actually uh, displaying what's actually being shown on our physical hardware and if we look at our physical hardware again what we have here is we have our bricks controller and then we have our relay output module which we're controlling our immersion heater off of the first output here we have our analog input we have our analog output and then we have a universal signal conditioner which is taking our thermocouple that we have here, converting it into a uh, linearly into a four or a zero to ten volt signal back into my input here that we've scaled, and then we have our immersion heater here in our cup of uh, water, which we're controlling through our ramp soak profile. So, what we'll do now is we will start our. Um, through our data monitoring here, we will actually turn on C1, which will then start our ramp soak. You'll see right now we're currently at a set point of 50. And when we turn this on, it'll start uh, ramping up uh, to 60 over the next 10 minutes. So we're starting to, to do that. And you can see as it's going along, we're actually ramping it up. And you'll see my output's on right now, 100%. So that it's it's slowly slowly going on. So we're going to be ramping this up to that 60 um, degrees Celsius. Now what we're going to do is speed up the video so that you don't have to wait this long for the ramp to actually happen.
So our ramp soak uh, profile is now complete. You see that we're on step number five using our heap uh, item, the RS0 step. You see that went from one all the way up to five. Then you see our step target is now at 50 degrees C and you'll see it's holding steady at 50. And this is my actual PID that we're actually, we're watching as it was following our ramp soak up for ramping, soak for the three minutes and then down again for our ramping back to 50 degrees again. And then we have our uh, step time and then we have our time left. So if we were to uh, turn off C0 now, you will see that now we go back to step number one and it's reset and we can start this procedure all over again. So ramp soak is a very good instruction. It's very useful instruction that we can use in our controller and especially when we combine this with our PID closed loop controller. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free eBooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.